Isha, I know we did this problem once before, but we want to look at it differently. Okay, here we have three shapes, the same shapes that are equal to 45. So each one is? 15. Okay, please write the answer of 15 to each one. Okay, this figure is the same as here, so you told me that one is 15. Now, since together they're equal to 23, and this is a 15, both of these together are? 8. And each one is? 4. Okay, please write a 4 for each one. Good. Now, this set of bananas is the same as this one, so we have a 4 here. Good. Now, all of this has to equal 10. This is already a 4, so what's the sum of these two? 6. 6. So each one is? 3. Okay, good. And we notice that the figures in the last one are a little deceptive because they look similar, but they're really different. Whereas this is a three o'clock, a three o'clock clock. This one is a two o'clock clock. So if this one is a three, you gave this one a? Two value. Two value. And what can you tell me about this set of bananas? There's only three bananas, and we have four. Okay, so since this one has a value of 4, this one should have a value of 3. And this one would have a value of 3. Okay, so the way we want to look at this now is this. Let's look at the outside hexagon and the outside pentagon as a frame, like a picture frame. Show me where the picture frame is. The two outside. Just point to it. Show me the picture frame all the way around. Show me where the picture frame is. That's the picture frame. What's inside the frame? A square. What's inside this frame? A square. What's inside this square? A square. A square plus a square plus a square is 45. How much is each square? 15. 15. Each square is 15. Okay, now look at this figure here. Does it have a square? No. Nope. All we have here is what? A frame. Just a frame. But it's what's inside the frame that gives us its value. So what value would this frame have? Zero. Zero. Place a zero right here. Let's now figure out what the total is. Okay, so you have two. Write down two. Plus three. Plus three. Times zero. Okay, now remember your order of operations and figure the value of that expression. Three times zero is zero. Five. The answer using this approach, this frame approach, is five. Very nice. What do you think of this approach? Neat? Yeah, very neat. Okay.